Sarah, Sarah Hammond. I'm a garden designer. I'm based in Herne Hill. I lead a group of volunteers here at Bell House. So um, I've been involved in Bell House since last September. We've been coming every Saturday, um, every Saturday morning, and the group of volunteers is growing. And we spend uh, two and a half hours here every Saturday morning, which is not quite long enough, but it's, you know, it's great. We have a very sociable time and we, um, we're making quite good headway into the garden. We've got big plans about what we can do. My name is George Kegler. Uh, I'm a 16-year resident of Dulwich. The gardening itself is fun, for me at least. It's a way of being in touch with something outside yourself, doing something good. The team here has been terrific. They're just like-minded people. So it's a, it's a group of friends of friends. It's very nice. It's just kind of working together with lots of other people. I really like that. Um, they're a very friendly bunch and they're a complete mixture of people. It's a physical activity and you can make it as strenuous as you want. You're focusing on something worthwhile and good. You're in the fresh air usually and it, it uh, puts you into a different part of yourself. You're focusing on what you're looking at and, and something that you're looking forward to seeing in the future because gardening is thinking ahead. It's not really right now. It's what it's going to look like in six months or a year. I would uh, encourage young people to get into gardening, uh, I think because it gives them an opportunity to get outside and it's a way to enrich yourself personally. My family originally came from Suffolk. My mother's side of the family, they were farmers and um, everybody worked the land 100 and 150 years ago. So it's, you know, it's, it's genetic. We've kind of lost it in this modern kind of whiz-bang technological age. Um, you're improving and you're cultivating uh, and I think that's um, yeah, offers a lot of satisfaction and enjoyment, so, yeah. Well, it's a two-acre site in London, which is very unusual. We're quite fortunate in Dulwich because there's so much greenery around us, you know, and yeah, it's a relaxed working environment. And I've worked in various charities before, which, and they tend to be similar, whereas um, a lot of jobs have got the politics and somebody trying to dominate and somebody in charge, but you don't get that here, you know, because we're all on the same level and nobody's regardless of who you are or what your abilities are. I think you don't need much expertise. It's something that you can learn as you go along. It becomes a, it's a lifelong skill, but you're outdoors and being outdoors is a wonderful thing. It's just a great place to come on a Saturday morning. <laughs> it's a busman's holiday, like I say, because I'm kind of doing this sort of stuff every day, but not normally interacting with people apart from the house owner, you know. I think gardens just they send to you, they give you an extra dimension. It sounds a, a big claim, but I think it does gardening and having outdoor space, it changes people's lives it, for the better. I love the sense that I'm creating something, and I love spring when you watch things coming up, and it's a sense of renewal. And It's the seasons, it's things changing, nothing is constant. We'll have, last week we had one plant which was in full bloom, it was beautiful. Now it's gone and, and something else has come up in its place. So it's just the constant change. And I've always escaped to the garden, I think is probably what I would say. So if there's anything to be done in the house or the garden, I'd always get someone in to do it in the house and I'd do the garden myself. So I think it's the one thing that I'd never delegate because I really, I really love it. Yeah, I have to say each Saturday morning I wake up thinking, oh, here we go again. Another Saturday, I'd much rather be in bed, <laughs> sleep. And then within about 10 minutes of being here, I know why I come, it's great. It's a vote of confidence in the future because you don't garden if you don't care what tomorrow looks like. You garden because you're, you care about tomorrow. It's a vote of confidence.